Alright, hey guys, Trifical Jaleem here today. We're back with Evangelion episode 3. Well, no, so far it's been a good two first two episodes actually. I've enjoyed them. Um, they're definitely a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I got out of the discussion, we're having comments about Zinji, like some people think he's a whiny bitch, some people think he's like, he's understandable why he's whiny. Um, he comes across less whiny than I expected him to be, I can expect him to be more whiny, but I do, I can understand why he's being upset, like why should he give two shits about humanity, and why should he get this way about without any context. So yeah, that's a good thing, so I'm, I'm more leaning towards I understand his whininess at the moment, and it depends if he is super whiny later. I don't know, but I like how everyone's debating in comments. You got some people like telling me like he's not whiny. Um, he's understandable. You got some people like he's the whiniest character on earth. And yeah, I'm on the fence. Like I said, I'm only two episodes in, so I can't really decide yet. But I'm really curious to see what I think of him at the end of the series. Like, will I like him or will I not? Um, we've not really been introduced to too many side characters yet. We had that really sick fight at the end of the last episode, and we got to know a bit more about the really him. He lives with the girl with the purple here. Do you know what? I'm going to get the names. Uh, so we've, we've got a bit more relationship between Miss Sato, I think that's how I pronounce it, and Sinji, which was pretty cool. I'm glad that they built upon them a bit more. Like, she's getting married and everything. And it's the first time he's probably been, like, interacting with someone, which is quite interesting. So I see, I'm quite curious where they're going to go with that. And yeah, no, overall, it's been a good start. I'm curious what their relationship's going to be at the end of it. Like, uh, will it, like is it going to be a sort of character he's going to crush on and then he's going to meet another girl later, which I'd be quite curious about. And yeah, no, it's uh, pretty interesting. The world's a lot darker. I like how we're in like Tokyo 3, so literally everything's been destroyed. We've got the question, is, is the Evangelion actually an angel? Because when it ripped off its helmet, it weren't just a robot, it had something inside it. So I'm, I'm expecting it to be an angel. Uh, but I'm not totally sure yet. I'm curious what's going to answer my questions. And yeah, the dad's a prick. And I'm just curious what his side of the story is. Like, why is he such a prick? Like, I just need to know more about the actual dad. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it at all. So yeah, let's just get into it. He looks so sad right now in his profile. I got a feeling he's gonna run away soon or some shit. I just see it, it just looks like he's going to. Just the way he's acting. <laughs> Think of the rope, he's more of a robot than the actual Eva itself. I can understand that I did night shifts for a bit once. You just you want to go to uh, stay in bed and lunch camp. You tell me you didn't have one bag of rubbish for the week. I have fucking loads. Oh, I could use his name, bloody hell. I wonder if we get to see his school life. Yeah, still images. I love still images, guys. They do look like such a boring class, though. You don't want to be friends with any of them. Definitely need some more energetic characters. Like, we've all got quite. I judge you from that girl there, she's gonna probably turn into a main character. Everyone's dead, um. Somber. Fucking hell, not much of a class. Talk about uh, cutting down the cast of characters they need to focus on. Ground and dark, Rick. Oh, about this. Talk about being subtle. That was quite surprising. He looks so sad. You just want to give him a hug. Don't answer it, ignore him. No, don't do it. I want to hear a bit more about the history of the world. I'm really sad. The grumpy kid. Oh, he's gonna bully him now. Is he just jealous? Was there any need for that? Like, what do you do wrong? Oh, I've got an opinion of you already. Fuck it up. No, that's not how the world works, mate. Yeah. Doesn't give me It's not his fault. Fuck it up. Could have been killed if he didn't take out the robot, you retard. I 
he has an older stay sister than was female, she could have been dead. Ooh. Different designs, me. Oh, I'd love to see like a massive fight between like a, um, one of the Evas going against like multiple uh, angels. That'd be sick. They don't do that, I say it's one of them, I'm not sure. Be cool, though. Down he goes. I'll have had this little mistress after you live with it, it's really sad. Okay, that was a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. I like to bleed him straight away, that is the pilot. Like, he could die. Hey, at least he gets some fucking sense to talk to him. Wait, is he got under the... I thought I would say he gets put underneath, or is it? Hmm. He turned dead red. Problem is, you need to. You can't just rely on one tactic. Come on, man. Oh, it's good, he's gone. Move, mate. Come on. Ooh. That looks like something I've preserved. There's a monster. One of the monsters I've been like, moving in lines in there. Not very easy, these power cables and stuff. Yeah, he's gonna be mate. Fucking hell. He's not filming, mate. That's really tiny. Who is I for the thing inside the Eva? Out. The voice actor screams there. Yeah. I even felt the pain. But I meant the voice actor. That voice actor's on point. I feel like I feel, I feel the voice actor feel like pain again. That guy better be giving the big apologies after this. Oh, that's a sick shot. I do like that. We could have found a poster. Might be getting on his knees after this, mate. Apologizing. Oh, mate, he's gonna get a phone call. Come on, apologize, mate. Too stubborn. Mate, okay, bit of interesting, bit of interesting there. We've got quite a bit there. We've got a bit of lore dropping. We've got to introduce some more side characters. We've got a little cheeky fight at the end. And yeah, we've just got, um, Sinjin's a bit more state of mind. It's not very great at the moment. <laughs> Fucking hell, he needs some more, he needs some friends. So if they can fill that role for him, that should be decent characters. Uh, the teacher going to sub. I just go and hit Antarctica, raise up sea levels, yeah, basically from Club the Earth, and then you had the angels coming out and attacking. I like the name of that angel, which reminds me of this creature in Berserk. I can't remember off the top of my mind, but it looks just like it. Maybe my might pull up if I can find it. Overall, no, I'd say that was an all decent episode. I'd give that a nice 8 point. 3 out of 10. Before we got a bit more about a bit more about the world, we got a bit more to know about like some side characters, and yeah, a bit more to know about the angels. Just got a bit of everything in that episode. I need to, I want to know more about this girl. Um, and yeah, I just need more 
Well, it's a bit more enthusiasm in the cast of characters. I remember it's got a very sombre cast of characters. And it looks like even future characters are going to be a bit sombre. Uh, Masato is pretty much the more happier type. And she's obviously got some problems, which I want to know more, more about her character as well. And yeah, I just don't know where we're going to go from here. Like, I, I just, the story's got a could potentially go a lot of different routes. And I'm just going to which sort of route it's going to go. And if humanity starts to lose on the end, and if we get more some more evils, like is that the early evil that we've got, or we're going to build more later? I'm not too sure about either. But yeah, three episodes in, I'm really enjoying it so far. It's a lot better. These first three episodes have been a lot better than I expected them to be. Um, yeah, I didn't know because you go into sort of anime when you hear about anime, like these old animes that everyone hyped up as amazing and stuff. You get such high expectations when you watch them. Um, you can be let down pretty hard. Whereas I've done that in the past, and I've just learned to try and not get your hopes up too high when you watch a show, and you probably enjoy it a lot more. And yeah, so far it's been pretty good. And this one has a bit of a mix of expectation because some people say it's shit, some people say it's really good, some people say it's a masterpiece. And it's like, because it's such a mix that you can't really get your hopes up because everyone's so mixed on it, which makes it more interesting for me to watch because I can have an opinion on it without going in with everyone saying it's the greatest thing ever, ever made. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this reaction. If you subscribe, I'll try and do one of these a week. I'm also doing this along with Donnie and my fries to get two different mechas, a modern mecha show with an older mecha show. So if you want to check those out, check that out, please do. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.